Rolling? Yeah. Okay. Hello and welcome to Wild Empire. I'm your host, Mark Carlberg. Kingdom. What? It's supposed to be Wild Kingdom, isn't it? That that's what we're Wild Kingdom it. is no. No. Wild Kingdom is already a show. We can't call it Wild Kingdom. It's Wild Empire. We agreed on that. Huh. You want me to start over? No, don't start over. I mean, we can edit it out. Just leave it rolling. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, ready? Yeah. Hello, and welcome to Wild Empire. I'm your host, Mark Carlberg, and today we are going to learn about cicadas. We're here in Chicago, Illinois, in the midst of the 17-year cicada season. What you're hearing may sound like a flying saucer landing in a 50s science fiction film, but in reality, that's the mating call of the male cicada. Are you holding that steady? It looks like you're moving it around. All right, cut, cut, turn it off. Once the cicadas emerge from their 17 years underground where they live on the sap from the tree roots, they come up and shed a skin, which you can see here on the tree next to me. Once they shed that skin, they have wings. You may be able to see, they're like cellophane. Relatively large but thin. And the size of their thick bodies makes it difficult for them to fly with any grace or style. And they often bounce off their intended targets. Humans often end up their unintended landing pad as they snag in your hair or bounce off your skin or even attach themselves to your clothes. Don't worry though, they're harmless and they won't bite. In fact, they can't. Cicadas don't have teeth. Uh. All right. So what can you do about these thousands of cicadas that are overrunning your yard? How should I know? Cut. <laughs> So what can you do about these thousands of cicadas that are overrunning your yard? Well, mostly you should do nothing. They're harmless, and consumer bug sprays are really ineffective. However, if you're determined to reduce their population in some way, you might try having them for dinner. They're full of protein, and they've got a crunch that goes great in salads. I prefer them fried. So what can you do about thousands of cicadas overrunning your yard? Well, mostly you should do nothing because they won't harm anything and commercial bug sprays are really ineffective. However, if you do want to get rid of the population somewhat, you might try having one for dinner. They're great in salads and they're really good fried. I can't do it. Come on. I can't do it. They're gross. Don't be a wimp. Shut up. Oh yeah, you do it. No way.
Delicious. All right, we'll edit it in, just cut. Pick up a cicada, and you can tell if it's a male or a female. The males will make a little chirp at you, while the females will be silent. They have no sound making it. it, it uh, uh, uh. Start over, no, no, don't stop, I'll just do it again. <laughs> okay, now that's a cicada. Cut, cut. <laughs> Pick up a cicada and you can tell if it's male or female. The males will chirp at you, while the females will be silent. They don't have any sound-making organs. The job of the female is to climb up to the tops of the trees, where they can lay up to 600 eggs inside of the small young branches. Imagine up there, thousands of them right now, mating. That's a lot of cicada love going on up in that tree. Ouch! What happened? Damn it. I think she bit me. I thought you said they couldn't bite. It's what it said on the internet. Okay. Ow. Cut. Female cicada can lay up to 600 eggs in the month before she... Damn it. Huh? Bit me. Another one. Crap. They're like going nuts. Turn it off. The female cicada can lay up to 600 eggs. Damn it! Huh? Dude, these things are like eating me alive. Yeah, they're getting me too. Ah. All right, just turn it off. We gotta start over. The female cicada. Oh, the female cicadas. All right, I, these things are like. Ah! Oh, they're eating me alive. I don't. We gotta stop. I think they're getting me too. Ah! 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 Yes. <laughs> <laughs>